<clears throat> here's a couple of the less common uh, stem plants that I occasionally uh, have in stock. They're not uh, readily available to me, so I don't have them too often, but uh, whenever I get a chance to, I always try and bring these in because I like them a lot. Um, this is the, they're called Nessia. On the left here is Nessia Golden, it's called. Um, and on the right here, this one's called Nessia Red. Uh, I'm not entirely sure of the exact scientific name on that. Um, I think it's sometimes confused or used synonymously with uh, Amania gracilis, perhaps. I've seen it labeled as that too. Um, if anybody knows the correct name of this one, it's sold by Florida Aquatics. It's just called Nessia Red. Uh, feel free to make a comment in the section there. Anyways, these are not, uh, the gold I've found to be fairly hardy. It doesn't, doesn't grow very quickly, um, but it seems to exist fairly decently in most settings anyways. Um, this has been in my tank for maybe a month. It hasn't really grown too much. Um, although the top parts of the leaves have started to show a little bit I guess maybe this has grown partially immersed or whatever, and, and the tops are starting to get a little bit thinner. The leaves are a little bit thinner than, and say this, like you can see here, the tops are a little bit different than than this than these uh, lower parts here, and then it's starting to grow some, starting to get some decent roots in there. Um, the Nessia red, I would suspect, is a little bit more demanding in terms of lighting and whatnot, just because of its. Uh, red plants typically are but uh, so it, I wouldn't I wouldn't say these are beginner plants but they're they're nice nonetheless